in the air. Do I have everybody's attention now? Do I have everybody's attention now? John, I got you. John, I Do I have everybody's Sunday attention night. now? He put them cameras on me, then you must be willing To get that heart touched, this a must-see feeling The news ain't good, then it must be villain So I say it's tag grounded, I don't trust these ceilings Spread across your nose, and I'm on your air Highest next on the cloud, am I in the air? Sunday nights, prime time, I flex my better Voltron transform to DX Don Mega and Austin, you probably think I'm nice Cause I flow like a stream to your wireless device And the smoke full of steam on any given night, I'll show up like a piece of any given slice. Uh, and for the latest and what is best about I, tune in and tune the rest out, Don. You gotta tell them, am I in the clear? Is this thing gone? Am I on the air? On the air. Well, what is going down, everybody? Welcome back to another brand new edition of Am I on the Air? I am your host, Don Mega, and I welcome you to the show, to the podcast. We are broadcasting live from the Red Dragons Radio Studios here in lovely Tucson, Arizona. On this Monday, it is February the 21st. It's season 23, episode 20. And tonight's show is titled Unchart My Heart Um, So tonight we of course are going to bring you up to speed With all the latest and the greatest when it comes to entertainment news Television, movies, reviews You are in the right spot to get caught up with every single week Of course on top of that Got some non-spoiler movie reviews for you Going to be talking three movies And I'm going to be talking a couple television shows And then of course we'll talk some box office And then everything that dropped In relation to television and movie news In the last seven days I hope everybody had an amazing Valentine's Day Our last episode was I love you We dropped it on Valentine's Day And uh, I hope you all had an amazing day I hope you all had an amazing week And let's jump on into this week's edition of Am I on the Air? As always, got a couple plugs to start off with. Have you subscribed to Am I on the Air? Quick Bites yet? That's the big question. Quick Bites, of course, is our spinoff sister podcast where I come to you with some uh, quick bites of information. It's typically a 15-minute or less episode um, where I get to just break down one particular topic and have some time to kind of deep dive. Uh, I really think you guys would like it If you listen to this show I definitely think you should subscribe To the Quick Bites And help your boy out It is a separate podcast feed So you do need to subscribe to it But we're available on Spotify And iTunes And pretty much all your favorite places You should be able to find Am I on the Air Quick Bites We did an episode last week Breaking down a bunch of information That Paramount Plus released Because they're going hard on that streaming service over the next couple years And they announced a bunch of different projects that they're going to be doing And we broke that all down on the latest Quick Bite So check that out And my second plug is to shout out my boy Peeps And his show The People's Forum Uh, He invited myself and my boy Friggins to join him on his latest episode uh, That also dropped today On his Marvel Cinematic Monday along with DC We talked a little bit of Marvel news But the main gist of why we got together Was to talk about Peacemaker Peacemaker of course the awesome DC show With James Gunn and John Cena Uh, It had its finale a couple nights ago And it was fantastic And so we got together to kind of uh, Spoiler review it and talk about Our feelings on Peacemaker As a whole so that was a really Fun episode to do so make sure you check Me out over on the people's forum As well you can listen to that right here On Red Dragons Radio Go to reddragonsradio.com Click on the tab the people's forum And you can listen to it right then and there Along with this podcast and the quick bites And or am I still in the airs everything's right There on Red Dragons Radio so So support your boy and check that out That was a lot of fun to do And yes, Peacemaker is over and it's definitely worth the watch So definitely check that out over on the People's Forum So that's my couple quick plugs If you would like to support the show, make sure you head on over to our Cash App 
and uh, just search up at uh, at Don Mega D O N M E G A, and you can uh, donate anything you like to help support the show. Uh, and the Cash App link is in our show notes as well. Um, and we're on PayPal. We're on pretty much everything. If you need uh, to reach out, you know where to get it. So let's jump on into it, guys. Let's start with movies, and we're of course going to start with. The number one movie, uh, at least in the United States, and some people are really shocked by how well it did, because it might have broken the video game curse, and that's Uncharted, baby, that's right, directed by Ruben Fleischer, who did Zombieland, um, you know, Ruben... Um, has a pretty good eye. I like I like his style, and he finally put together Uncharted after this movie was in developmental hell for many many years. It was supposed to be Nathan Fillion, and then it was actually going to be Mark Wahlberg playing Nathan Drake, um, and then Tom Holland got brought in. They decided to go a different way and kind of do it as almost like a prequel, bring in a young Tom Holland that can actually go on adventures for quite some time. And Mark Wahlberg stuck around with it, but this time he plays Sully. He's he's kind of uh, the caretaker there. So Mark stepping out of the main role and into kind of a side role there. Um, and of course, it's based on the popular PlayStation video game. So... Definitely wanted to check this out I love Tom Holland, I love Mark Wahlberg I dabbled in the video games I'm a big Playstation guy But never really fully invested into Uncharted But really, really dug the um, trailers for this And so I was stoked This movie's about a young street smart Nathan Drake And his wisecracking partner Victor Sully Sullivan As they embark on a dangerous pursuit of the greatest treasure never found While also tracking clues that may lead to Nathan's long lost brother So once again you got Tom Holland, Mark Wahlberg, Antonio Banderas Sophia Ali, Tati Gabrielle Um, I will say this for Uncharted I saw this in IMAX It's beautiful looking And I will say The leads here Do their job very very well I thought Tom Holland was great Is he the best fit for Nathan Drake? Probably not But He was really good In doing what he could do I love Tom Holland Of course he's our Spider-Man But I really just like his charisma I like his style I like his, his gump And uh, I just, I enjoyed what he did here I've always been a fan of Mark Wahlberg So I felt like Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg Kind of carrying this thing Really worked for me Now on the other side This movie is something we've seen done A million times And probably a million times better Um, This is very National Treasure Meets Indiana Jones And you know It's just It's just okay At the end of the day, it's just okay I had a good time with the movie But I was disappointed And and once again, you set your sights at a certain level When you go to see a movie And this was something I was really looking forward to And I just expected a little bit more Especially based on how the trailers were I didn't expect it to be a 5 star film But I just expected to have a really good time To walk out of this thing being like Hell yeah, that was great And I walked out just being like It was good it was good um, So it's hard to kind of put my finger on it Because at the end of the day I would give Uncharted 3 out of 5 stars It's good It's not great It's got a lot of uh, Points throughout it that need help It's got some Dumb moves that happen That you're just like really But when the action happens It pops pretty well And I'll tell you I I thought Tom Holland You know he he parkoured his ass through this movie And my hat's off to him You know and um, and like I said It's very well carried by the lead actors If this wasn't Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg This would probably be a two star movie Um, But it definitely was three It was a fun time I'll definitely watch it again at home (laughs) At one point someday Um, But you know I can't sit here and say You need to run out and see it But I do think you'll probably have a good time with it For what it is So don't go into it with crazy expectations Go in for a little bit of a fun Kind of throwback ride And I think you'll walk out happy So again I give Uncharted 3 out of 5 stars 
The next movie, the next couple movies that I watched are I've been out for a little bit, so nothing crazy new because Uncharted was the big new movie of the weekend. But I did finally get to see Last Night in Soho, the latest Edgar Wright movie that came out a couple months ago. I've been dying to see it. Never got a chance to see it last year. Finally got around to it A young girl passionate about fashion design Is mysteriously able to enter the 1960s Where she encounters her idol A dazzling wannabe singer But 1960s London Is not what it seems And time seems to be falling apart With shady consequences Uh, This one here um, Has What's her name? Tomasin McKenzie I think Uh, Anna Taylor Joy Matt Smith Um, So so there's your leads and I like Anna Taylor Joy. I think she's a great actress. And I liked her moments in this movie. Tom- Tomasin McKenzie or McKenna. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to even pronounce her name. McKenzie. It is McKenzie. Tomasin McKenzie. Um, she's pretty. She's very pretty. I'll give her that. But I hate her voice. She's, she talks like a little baby doll And I'm just really scared Because I think that the girl Dies in my dreams And I don't know what is going to happen Um, Every time she talks I'm just like oh my god And what's crazy is I was thinking about it Because she was in the movie Old That um, M. Night Shyamalan did last year And I like Old But in Old She had that little baby voice too And I thought that that was for her character Because in old She's a little girl that ages up Into a teenager And I thought that was the way they were trying to play it Like she was this little girl in the bigger girl's body So she talked like a little baby girl voice And I just assumed that was for that movie And then I watched Last Night in Soho And she's like hello everybody I got my little whiny girl voice And I'm like oh my god she, This is her real voice Um, Like I said very pretty to look at <laughs> but um, it drove me crazy, man. It was very hard, and most of the movie is just her running around scared. Um, I had very high expectations for last night in Soho because I love Edgar Wright and I love this trailer. I thought it was very intriguing. But man, after it was said and done, I was just like, "Well, that's a movie, and I'll never watch it again." Um, Anna Taylor Joy did great. They did what they could with it, but. I would give Last Night in Soho 2 out of 5 stars Uh, Just not my cup of tea Uh, I tried And I was disappointed unfortunately So there you go there I'm going to move on over to my third and final movie Which is Antlers Antlers is a movie I wanted to watch back in 2020 And it got delayed And it got delayed again Then it got pushed to 2021 Then it didn't really go anywhere And then now it's finally on HBO Max So I decided to check it out the other night You got Kerry Russell in this Jesse Plemons Um, I always, I thought the trailer looked great I was stoked about this A small town Oregon teacher and her brother The local sheriff discover a young student Is harboring a dangerous secret That could have frightening consequences This of course is a horror movie, mystery, drama Um I didn't care for it I didn't Um It was boring It took too long to get where it needed to go Um, the end kind of ramps up By that point it's almost too little too late Um, At the end of the day I was kind of glad that I just watched it on HBO Max And I did not sit through the theater to see this uh, Unfortunately So I cannot recommend Antlers either Um, You know one thing I will say for Antlers And maybe Maybe at some point Another day down the road I'll maybe give it another shot Is that I watched this movie on Saturday night At at 1.30 in the morning I was pretty tired So sometimes you know when you try to watch these movies Super super late at night um, Your mind and your heart are just not in it And maybe that's what happened with Antlers So I will put that little asterisk Next to my score and next to this movie That it possibly could have been Because it was so damn late That I just couldn't focus on it But as of now I would give Antlers 2 out of 5 stars It just It has some moments but overall It took too long to get there Okay Let's switch on over to the television side And I'm excited because finally Peacock dropped its new drama version Of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air Simply titled Bel-Air And um, I've been really excited about this Because I saw the YouTube video 
For those of you that don't know, there was a YouTube video that came out a couple years ago that did this like fake movie trailer that took the premise of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and turned it into a drama. And it was done so well that Will Smith got his eyes on it and he said, you know what, we should do something with this. And they decided to develop it and, and shop it around and Peacock came and said, we'll do it. And they've already renewed it for a second season and we're off to the races. And yes, it is a full-blown drama retelling of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air Which is hard for some people to wrap their head around Because The Fresh Prince is such a funny, comedic show And this, doing it in a drama way, is interesting I mean, they basically have Carlton as the villain in this show, which is interesting Um, But they released the first three episodes of it And then the fourth episode just dropped Friday So four episodes are out right now I watched all four And I love it I really do love it I think the show's great It took a little bit for me to kind of ramp into the vibe But once I got there, I got there I think all the characters Aunt Viv, Uncle Phil, Carlton, um, Ashley You know, everybody, Jazz Everybody plays their roles so well in this And the guy that plays Will is, Is a young Will Smith He's got the mannerisms down He's got the voice He's representing West Philly I mean, they're really taking this show And turning it into something new and fresh and I really think it's unique, you know, that, that they're not just doing a straight reboot and saying, let's go back to the well. They're they're rebooting, but rebooting in a fun, fresh way by making it a drama. And I'm super intrigued, man. Like I said, four episodes, they're four for four with me, and I'm loving it. So if you got Peacock, check it out. If you don't got Peacock, get Peacock and check out Bel Air. Uh, and... Uh, Lastly, I just want to say again, Peacemaker Finale, it's out, check it out, and that's why I said we did that People's Forum episode, talking about it, it was so good, I love Peacemaker, congratulations, it's been renewed for season 2, James Gunn coming back to write and direct all episodes for season 2, the finale was awesome, it was one of the most watched things ever on HBO Max, it was It grew in viewership every single week And this is why I will continue to beat the drum That releasing a show weekly Is far superior To dumping it at once and making people binge it Um, If this show had been a bingeable thing Nobody would be talking about it anymore After the first week But by putting it out every single week Everyone talked about it Everybody enjoyed it And everybody got to be you know, Looking forward to their Thursday night And watching that new Peacemaker episode So I'm glad to see that it grew 44% From episode 1 to the finale So congratulations there Massive hit And another big congratulations to James Gunn Who got engaged over the weekend uh, To Jennifer Holland Who plays Harcourt on uh, Peacemaker And she's gorgeous So congratulations sir That is incredible So um, yeah Big shout out to Peacemaker And if you haven't seen the finale yet Watch it before you get spoiled Because there's some some pretty cool stuff that happens in that finale. All right, guys, uh, let's recap real quick. Uncharted now in theaters. I gave it three out of five stars. Last night in Soho, which is a video on demand, you can watch it at home. Two out of five stars. And Antlers now streaming on HBO Max. Two out of five stars as well. Check out Bel Air over on Peacock and Peacemaker on HBO Max. Let's talk our box office, guys. Number ten is The Cursed. Number nine is Blacklight. Number eight is Scream. Number seven is Sing Two. Number six is Marry Me. Number five, Jackass Forever. Number four, Death on the Nile. Number three, Spider-Man No Way Home. Number two is a debut. It's Dog, the new Channing Tatum movie, which over exceeded expectations, making $15 million over the three-day weekend and $18 million, including today since it's a holiday with President's Day. And number one was Uncharted with uh, a very over expectations amount of $44.1 million for the three days and $51 million for including today uh, for the four day weekend. So they were estimating Uncharted would only make 30 to 35 and it made 44 and then 51 if you count today. Incredible, uh, you know, like I said, kind of taking away that video game curse. But congratulations there to Uncharted. That is awesome. All right, 
So with that out the way, let's get on over to our news of the week. J.J. Abrams announced that he is producing a fourth Star Trek film and the full cast is returning from his film franchise. So you got Chris Pine coming back as uh, Captain Kirk. You got Zachary Quinto coming back as Spock. You got... um, Zoe Zaldana coming back as Uhura, Simon Pegg, Carl Urban. I mean, the whole team is coming back for the sequel. I'm excited about this. I'm not a big Star Trek fan, but I love the three Star Trek films that came out with Chris Pine leading. So I'm excited to see this team return for a new one. A new Transformers animated series and film have been announced alongside the live action uh, movie that's coming out in a couple years. So we know we got Beast Wars coming out, then we're going to get an animated movie, and then we're also getting an animated show called Earth Spark, which will be on Nickelodeon and Paramount+. Plus. A Quiet Place Part 3 has officially been announced, and yes, there is still going to be a spin-off movie, but this is actually Quiet Place 3 with Emily Blunt in the works, tentatively slated for 2025. South Park's full library, along with Beavis and Butthead Revival, are going to be headed to Paramount+. Plus. It's going to take a little bit of time because HBO Max has the South Park category right now, um, but it's going to be cool to see Beavis and Butthead. All of the seasons are going over there, Beavis and Butthead, plus new stuff. So Paramount Plus, once again, ramping up. A lot of this news I talked about on that Quick Bites episode, but I'm just going to give you some highlights. Uh, a knuckle spinoff is in the works for Sonic the Hedgehog over at Paramount Plus, with Idris Elba coming back to voice Knuckles, so that's going to be pretty cool. Halo already greenlit for a season two on Paramount Plus. Spider-Man No Way Home officially passes Avatar to become the third highest grossing domestic film of all time. Congratulations to the web slinger there. HBO's Barry Season 3 is coming soon. Man, I've waited a long time for Barry. This is a great show, man, and, and this it took way too long to get Season 3, so I'm glad to hear it's finally coming soon. We have the trailer... For Pieces of Her, this is a new Tony Collette thriller that is coming to Netflix. It actually looks pretty damn cool, so I'll definitely check out Pieces of Her. We have the trailer for Lucy and Desi. Amy Poehler directs a documentary about the TV couple, so check that out. A Bioshock movie is officially in the works over on Nef- Netflix, so pretty cool there because they said that this is the video game that is unadaptable. So interesting that you know movie studios couldn't do it, but Netflix is going to give it a hand, so we'll see where it goes. We got the trailer for Fresh. This stars Sebastian Stan, and he has an unusual appetite. It's a new thriller that comes in March over on Hulu, so definitely interested to see. The trailer doesn't give away much, but it definitely leaves you intrigued to be like, what the hell is this? We also have the trailer for Chippendale Rescue Rangers. That's right, Chippendale live-action animated hybrid movie um, with um, John Delaney and uh, Andy Samberg doing the voices. It looked pretty funny, man. It looked pretty cute. Give me a little bit of Alvin and the Chipmunks vibes, but funnier because it's done by the Lonely Island, so that should be pretty interesting. Peaky Blinders Season 6 is coming very, very soon over in the BBC, so stay tuned for that. HBO Max says that they are going to be doing a live-action DC film of Wonder Twins. I don't know about the Wonder Twins, man. This is something I never thought would be adapted, especially in a live-action, but... I can see them doing something on an HBO Max, so we'll see how well Wonder Twins gets adapted. We have the new trailer for Downton Abbey, A New Era. So check that out, that comes out in theaters in May. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is in development, so that'll be coming down the road. Uh, I'm sure they're hoping that 2 does as well as they think it's going to do, since they're building out this universe. Season 2 has been ordered of 1883 plus another Yellowstone prequel is also coming. So then they love their Yellowstone. Matt Reeves says he's very interested in a grounded Mr. Freeze for a sequel to The Batman. I'd be down for that, man. You know, that'd be pretty cool to get an actual Mr. Freeze. But again, why does everything have to be grounded? We're adapting comic books. Let's just get everybody chill. Everybody freeze. (laughs) You know what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. Um, I want a Mr. Freeze. 
Um, I'm just, I just don't want everything to be so grounded, man, in a comic book world, man. Give us our shit. James Gunn don't ground nothing, and it's awesome. So, come on, dude. Let's not try to ground everything. All right, Jack Quaid has joined the cast of Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. So, congratulations to him there. Um, that show, um, Pieces of Her with Tony Collette, it debuts March fourth over on Netflix. We also have the trailer for Windfall, starring Lily Collins, Jesse Plemons, and Jason Segel. Um, they star in a new Hitchcockian thriller from the writer and director of The One I Love and the writer of Seven. It premieres on Netflix March 18th. Very interesting trailer here as well, too, so I'll be curious to see how this movie pans out. MTV fave Teen Wolf is making a comeback with a streaming movie, so that's going to be on Paramount Plus as well. But your main people... We're not coming back No Dylan O'Brien No Tyler Hoechlin So just be aware Not everybody's returning But a big group of them are So there you go The Good Doctor Will scrub in for the remainder of season 5 Much sooner than expected You can watch a trailer And it will be back February 28th How I Met Your Father Has been renewed for a 20 episode Second season over on Hulu Congratulations I'm watching this show And I like it I do like it But I don't love it uh, I do love Hillary Duff in it, I'll tell you that <laughs> Woo, baby um, But I, I do like the show and I do want it to get better Season 1 is only 10 episodes So it must be doing really well for them If they're bringing it back for a 20 episode second season Especially on Hulu Because Hulu doesn't do big seasons like that So congratulations to How I Met Your Father Billions has also been renewed again Billions renewed for season 7 over on Showtime Super Pumped has been renewed at Showtime And Season 2 will follow the rise of Facebook Season 1 is about to premiere with Joseph Gordon-Levitt Talking about Uber So it's going to be an anthology series And Season 2 will be about the rise of Facebook Zoe Zaldana and Billy Bob Thornton Are set to headline two new Paramount Plus dramas From Yellowstone creator Taylor Sheridan So get ready for that A SEAL Team movie is on the way as well To Paramount Plus Along with NCIS Sydney so more Paramount Plus news A live action Dora the Explorer series Along with multiple Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies Have also been ordered at Paramount Plus ABC is pulling the low rated Promised Land off the schedule And uh, the remaining season 1 episodes will air exclusively on Hulu Julia Child comedy series starring Happy Valley's Sarah Lancashire uh, gets an HBO Max release So they're moving it over there to HBO Max um, Let's see here Paramount goes all in On competing with its streaming giants In a full reband, uh, rebrand Sorry, So that's part of what we've been talking about there um, Which you can find the full details Once again on our Quick Bites episode Go check that out If you want to hear the full story On Paramount and Paramount Plus's rebrand South Park, like I said, will move its full library to Paramount Plus by 2025 Beavis and Butthead will return with new episodes this year And will forego its debut on Comedy Central in favor of Paramount Plus Will Ferrell and Jamie Foxx, are, uh, they have a new comedy called Strays And that's been set for a 2023 release date So congratulations there, I like that uh, Will Forte also in it So Will Forte, Jamie Foxx and Will Ferrell Yes please, that sounds great the challenge expands the CBS and adds a global all-star tournament on Paramount Plus. Uh, Paramount Plus will also stream all studio movies beginning in 2024. So there you go. Paramount Pictures presently licenses movies to both Paramount Plus and Epics during the Pay One TV window, but coming in 2024, after its theatrical run, it will be exclusive to Paramount Plus. SpongeBob, more SpongeBob coming to Paramount Plus as well. Showtime Originals are going to join Paramount Plus uh, as an addition Yes, you can now bundle Showtime with Paramount Plus for one low rate And there's a lot of good stuff on Showtime, man, so don't, don't scratch it off Anna Paquin, Jake Lacey, and Colin Hanks are set to lead a new true crime drama over at Peacock Fox is developing a Bloom County animated TV series based on the beloved comic Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson's Marry Me Melts Hearts at Valentine's Day box office So the movie Marry Me debuted at number 2 last week But on Monday on Valentine's Day It actually shot up to number 1 Everybody went out and supported it It was a great Valentine's movie And I'm glad that it became the number 1 film of last week 
New England Patriots Dynasty gets a documentary series treatment over on Apple TV Plus. Um, let's see here. Ryan Reynolds kills the rumor of Deadpool appearing in Doctor Strange 2, and I believe this one. I don't see Deadpool popping up in Doctor Strange 2. John Cena set to star in an upcoming Warner Brothers Coyote vs. Acme movie, which will be a live action CG, li- uh, live action slash CG hybrid film that they're putting together, and John Cena is supposed to be the villain. So, congratulations there to Cena stepping up his game. M. Night Shyamalan's Knock at the Cabin has added Rupert Grint and Nikki Amuka Bird to the cast along with Batista. Neil Gaiman says The Sandman is all about surprising you. Um, and remember, that's supposed to come later this year. We have the first teaser trailer for Showtime's all star anthology drama, The First Lady. Matt Reeves, uh, he says The Batman was always a PG 13 movie and that there is no R rated cut. That exists so there you go for those, All of you that thought that he was Trimming back this R rated movie to PG-13 It's only been PG-13 We have a new trailer for Our Flag Means Death so check that Out coming soon to HBO Max Quentin Tarantino will narrate Super Pump the battle for Uber uh, So there you go another New addition to that um, Let's see HBO Max is a Christmas story sequel Has added four original Cast members back to the cast we have the trailer for The Boys Presents Diabolical The new animated spin-off of The Boys It has 8 episodes coming soon to Amazon Prime You can check out the trailer um, Moon Knight They are bringing in a well-known Oscar winning voice To um, Has confirmed that Oscar winner F. Murray Abraham From Amadeus, Last Action Hero he signed on to become the voice of the Egyptian god Khonshu in the upcoming uh, Moon Knight, the ancient god that you've seen in the trailers. So there you go. F. Murray Abraham will be the voice of Khonshu. A Blue Clues movie starring Steve, Joe, and Josh is heading to Paramount Plus as well. So we get some big Blues Clues. We have the trailer for The Contractor starring Chris Pine. Looks okay. I was a little disappointed by this trailer. Bob Odenkirk says that he's ready for Nobody Part 2 I'm ready too man, I love Nobody So let's get that sequel going, I am down for that James Gunn says that he's also looking at additional spinoff plans uh, For other stuff in the works after he does season 2 of Peacemaker So that's pretty cool there Ray Liotta joins Demi Moore and Margaret Qualley In the new horror film The Substance In Treatment is not returning to HBO So You Think You Can Dance Looks like it's going to be finally returning With the much delayed season 17 Over on Fox So stay tuned for that Carrie Russell is set to headline a new Netflix political drama series Called The Diplomat Brooklyn Nine-Nine's Melissa Fumero Who I love I love Melissa Fumero She was so good on Brooklyn Nine-Nine She's been cast opposite Randall Park In the upcoming Netflix workplace comedy Blockbuster I'm so down for this Because I love Randall Park And I love Melissa And I think a workplace comedy with these two Sold and sold I don't even need a trailer Let's go Futurama's John DiMaggio addresses his absence from the Hulu revival He says not voicing Bender is about self-respect You can read the full statement on our Twitter Kate McKinnon is the latest A-lister to join the Barbie movie Her character is unknown but she'll star alongside Margot Robbie as Barbie Ryan Gosling as Ken And America Ferreira along with Simu Liu So Shang-Chi himself So great addition with Kate McKinnon This movie is really shaping up with a great cast uh, John Cena, we talked about him playing the villain in that movie The new uh, Wiley Coyote movie He'll play the villain, a former boss In the upcoming live action CGI hybrid Coyote vs. Acme Based on the classic Looney Tunes character of Wiley Coyote The God's Honest Truth has been renewed for season 2 over on Comedy Central um, Paul Reiser is officially replacing Michael McKean In Hulu's upcoming show Reboot The Billboard Music Awards is set for a live broadcast on NBC in May Frank Grillo is joining the Underworld creator Kevin Graveau's action adventure King of Killers Um, Arrowverse executive producer is involved with Jensen Ackles' secret DC project And of course we're talking about Greg Berlanti Who's involved with everything DC on TV So congratulations there We'll see what this project turns out to be I am very, very curious 
Amanda Seyfried has joined Tom Holland in Apple TV Plus's The Crowded Room series that they're doing. So great addition there. I love Amanda Seyfried, and of course we love Tom Holland, so there you go. Disney Plus has announced Olivia Rodrigo. She's got a new documentary about the making of her album Sour. Um, let's see, we've got some new images for Moon Knight you could check out. The Alien series that they're putting together will not, not have a Ripley cameo. So there you go there. She is not going to be in it. We have the first trailer for Elvis That's right, Austin Butler and Tom Hanks lead Boz Lerman's biopic Looks pretty interesting, man I'm not, not a super big Elvis fan, but it looks like a really solid biopic The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel has been renewed for a fifth and final season Season 4 just started, uh, but yes, they've renewed it for one more to go out with So very cool there uh, Also ending, Atlanta that's right, Atlanta over on FX will end officially after season four. The Terminal List is coming. That's right, this is the new Chris Pratt show that's going to be on Prime Video, and it's going to debut on July 1st. I'm looking really forward to The Terminal List. Um, let's see here. Nicholas Brittell is officially signed on to score Disney Plus's Star Wars Andor series. Stranger Things season four release date. Uh, the sh- It will... Air in two different pockets It's going to be in two batches The first one will start I think in May And the second batch will be in July And they've also announced it has been renewed for season 5 But season 5 will be it So 5th and final season for Stranger Things as well Which is good man These kids are getting too old Getting way too old Mortal Kombat 2 We already told you that's coming Lewis Tan hopes that the sequel is bigger And bloodier than the first So do I Lewis Tan So do I Alrighty Walton Goggins is set to star in Prime Video's Fallout series Of course based on the video game So very cool there I love Walton Goggins So great addition Channing Tatum is set to lead MGM's English remake of System Crasher So there you go there It's a drama film And Channing Tatum has signed on to it Tom Hanks is set to lead the film adaptation from Forrest Gump team For a new movie called Here So he's teaming up with Robert Zemeckis and the writer and producers for that We have the first trailer for Hustle The new Adam Sandler and LeBron James basketball movie That's coming to Netflix so you can check that out It's a drama, this ain't typical Adam Sandler right here So check that out uh, Marvel Studios has tapped the Moon Knight directors for Loki Season 2 And uh, looks like they'll be um, start filming that hopefully later this summer Despicable Me 4 has also been greenlit And that's coming down the pipe, I believe, in 2024 Melissa Benoist, our lovely Supergirl, I love Melissa Benoist uh, She's nearing a deal to star in HBO Max's The Girl on the Bus And she will also reunite with Supergirl executive producer Greg Berlanti on this Greg Berlanti, man, is hand in so many pots But I love Melissa Benoist, so this uh, hopefully this will be a really cool show for her to jump to um, So let's see here, The Neighborhood has cast Tracy Morgan as Calvin's wealthy brother I love that FX spy drama starring Jan, uh, Yelan Noel Lucas Till is not moving forward So they decided to uh, axe that for now Harlem has been renewed for season 2 over on Prime Video Over on SNL, Oscar Isaac and Zoe Kravitz have been added to host And Charlie XCX has been rescheduled as a musical guest Remember she was supposed to do it in December And then Omicron hit and she bounced out But she'll be coming back But love this man, Oscar Isaac and Zoe Kravitz Let's go Fargo, been renewed for season 5 And will be, uh, it's going to involve A kidnapping in the year 2019, very interesting So I know a lot of you love Fargo um, Let's see here FXX's Dave Hi, I'm Dave Dave has been renewed for season 3 I like Dave, Dave's a funny show So congratulations on its season 3 renewal You, one of my favorite shows right now You season 4 has added the White Lotus's Lucas Gage uh, He's been cast as a series regular for the upcoming season So very cool there um, Let's see Tom Hanks's A Man Called Otto Gets a holiday release date And Adam Driver's 65 Has been pushed back a year a Martin Lawrence uh, Martin, the show Cast reunion special has been set Over on BET Plus So there you go, man, 30th anniversary That's awesome right there 
Uh, Martin Lawrence, uh, it's going to be good to see him back with the cast there. Uh, Tisha Campbell, Tashina Arnold, Carl Anthony Payne, the second. Um, very cool. Netflix has announced four new Dave Chappelle comedy specials. Netflix announced the release of four upcoming comedy specials executive produced and hosted by Dave Chappelle. The series of specials is dubbed Chappelle's Home Team, and each will feature a different comic introduced by Chappelle. So very cool there. Um, Let's see here. Atlanta, the third season will air in March And then like we said, the fourth and final season Will come later in the year So there you go, man, they've already shot both seasons Three and four, so that's awesome You're not going to have to wait a long time Like you did for season three So great, great news there Don't forget Turning Red, the next Pixar movie From Disney, uh, is going to be streaming On Disney Plus March 11th So get ready for that Um Let's see here We have a big Netflix preview Your guide to the 65 plus films Releasing in 2022 So everything you need to know Is right there in that guide for you HBO Max's Laker series Called Winning Time Will debut on March 6th Looking forward to that with John C. Riley. Uh, the content chief of HBO and HBO Max shares some updates on the future of In Just Like That, House of the Dragon, True Detective, and more. So check that out if you are interested. Read that full article to find out what's going on with your favorites there. Um, Despicable Me uh, 4, once again, I got the official release date, July 3rd, 2024 for that. The upcoming Halo series won't take place in the same timeline as the games, but it is still rooted in canon and will feature everything you'd expect from the story of Master Chief's fight against the Covenant. So some interesting info there on uh, Halo. Olivia Munn and Danny Ramirez will join Tales of the Walking Dead cast. Um, Billions has officially added Sakina Jaffrey as a series regular for season six. Um, I got an interesting article up about Peacemaker, but I won't speak to it right now because I don't want people to be spoiled. I want people to enjoy. So uh, go through our social media if you would like to know more about something that happened or didn't happen in the Peacemaker finale. I'll leave that there. Uh, Let's see here. Moving along. Um, Hugh Grant joins Timothy Chalamet in WB's Wonka film. Uma Thurman uh, is talking more and more about the possibility of Kill Bill 3. I think talk's starting to really heat up on that one. Brie Larson teases that the script for the Marvels is bonkers. And it's going to be something totally different than what people will expect from a Captain Marvel 2. So I love that. John Carpenter talks about possibly revisiting the classic sci-fi horror, The Thing. That's right. Will we get a sequel? I don't know. Maybe. It'd be cool. I would like it. We have the trailer for Panama Which stars Mel Gibson and Cole Hauser This looks like some straight VOD action stuff Um, But you know Check it out if you're interested Walker has officially added Ashley Reyes As Cordell's new partner Following Lindsay Morgan's exit Uh, The show Another Life uh, With Katie Sackhoff Has been officially cancelled over on Netflix So it will not be coming back For a third season we got a first promo look for 911 coming back soon, so that will be interesting. Um, and a new show, The End Game, debuts tonight on NBC. Um, looks pretty interesting, man. I, I think it does look pretty interesting, so we'll see. We'll see how that one plays out. Um, and we'll go from there. It is from Justin Lin, which is very interesting. And uh, Marina Baccaran is in it, and she's so fine. Uh, so, yeah, I'll watch it for her. For show. For show. Uh, and that's it. That's it, guys. We're wrapping up. We're getting close to that 45 minute mark. That's our news of the week. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you had a good time getting caught up with the latest and the greatest in entertainment news. Um, my name is Don Mega. Once again, you can follow me on Twitter at DX Don Mega. Make sure you go to our website, bookmark it. It's amiontheair.com. It can't get any more easier than that. Am I on the air? All one word. Dot com. You got everything you need right there on the website. But like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Am I on the air? Follow us on Twitter at Am I on the air? Subscribe to us on Apple Podcast. Subscribe to us on Spotify, um, Apple Music, uh, Google Google Play, Google Podcast, um, Amazon Music. 
Um, Spreaker, Stitcher, tune in. We're on all the platforms, so make sure you subscribe to us on whichever one you like. You know, our podcast is always streaming on the Facebook page as well, too. So make sure you like us on Facebook, like I said. And don't forget the other socials: TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Just search Am I on the Air and make sure you follow along. I do video reviews on TikTok and I share them on Instagram. So it'd be pretty cool if you followed along to check out the video reviews for the movies that we see, along with all the other goodness. And of course, a great shout out to our boys and our team at reddragonsradio.com. All one word, reddragonsradio.com. Great podcast website, always streaming all our stuff. This show, Am I Still in the Air, our Quick Bites, and everything else in between, and all of our friends are on the same webpage, so it makes it easier for you to find everything. That'll do it for me on this Monday, February the 21st. I hope you all have an amazing week. We'll see you back here next week, same bat time, same bat channel. And until then, y'all, take care of yourselves and each other. Peace! Bye, everybody! Red Red Dragons!